So after my popularity of the Sega Dreamcast HD Texture Packs installation in test the other day, I thought let's go a little bit further with this and let's show you what PlayStation 2 has to offer. And surprisingly, we got several different HD custom texture packs too. So in this video, I'm going to do a comparison between default settings of free PlayStation 2 games and also showing you how they look with these adjustments, which is HD custom texture packs and some fine adjustments to video settings. And some of these look fantastic. So check this video out. <laughs> Okay, so before I go any further with this video, if you like what you see today, just hit notifications and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming content on Retrobat and several other front end system tutorials that I cover. So let's get on with this one. Link is in my description for this one as always. And what we're doing is gonna download some texture packs. So as we can see from this website, we got completed HD texture projects, and these are 100% complete. And there are some really good games here. We got Call of Duty Free, for starters. I'm personally using a burnout game, Bloody Roar, and I'm also using Castlevania. Now, if you just scroll down on this website I've come across, we've also got many other texture packs, but these are incomplete. So, like I say, links in my description for these, and you're going to be really amazed with uh, these texture packs. They're really good. So, let's get into this. You're going to download these packs, and they're going to download in zip files. So, just un-extract them, and you're going to be left with one of these folders just here. And inside, you've got another folder called Replacements, which has got all the textures for your game. So, once you've got this, what we're going to do next is just head into Retrobat, or rather, go on the shortcut and right click on it. And the first thing you're going to need to do once you're inside the Retrobat directory is just go to BIOS. And then from BIOS, if you scroll down slightly, you're going to find PCSX2. And in PCSX2, we've got two folders here. We've got BIOS and we've got textures. Now, if you don't have a textures folder in here, just create the folder and rename it textures. So just like this, right click, new, folder, and I'm gonna type textures. And it's that simple. And next thing we're gonna do is these folders of your HD custom texture packs. We're gonna just drag these inside of that textures folder. Okay, next thing you need to do is back out of here. And if we go into the emulators folder inside of the Retrobat directory, just double left click on that one. And we're going to scroll down until we come across PCSX2. And inside of PCSX2, just open up the emulator itself. And remember, you're going to need to install this. And if you should get an update, just download and install. Okay, so here's my free games that I'm going to do in today's video. So what I'm going to make you aware of too is that if you look under codes just here, which is besides the name of the games, you need to compare the code with the folder names. So if we just come back out of here, and again, we're going to go back into that BIOS folder. And again, we're going to look for the PCSX2 folder and textures where I've just dragged my texture packs. If you look, my codes correspond with the names of these folders. So you're gonna to need to download texture packs, which corresponds to your game's region, and that's what this is. So that being done, what we're gonna do next to fully set this up is go into settings, and from settings, we're gonna just go down to graphics. And once graphics tab is open, uh, we're gonna to go to texture replacement just here. And you need to link up this directory with where we've just dragged and dropped those texture packs. So very simple. Mine's already set up, as you can see, but it's just the case of just clicking on browse and then just finding where Retrobat is. So I'm going to do this for you, Retrobat. And they're obviously in the BIOS folder and they're in the PCSX2 folder. And here they are. So just highlight the textures folder just here and just simply press on select folder. 
and you can close this down now and if you've not yet followed my setup guide for playstation 2 be sure to check that one out i've got a full playstation 2 and retrobat setup guide so we're done with the texture packs and everything is set up so let's just enter retrobat now so we're back into retrobat we got playstation 2 and here's my free games so what we're going to do first is just like the other days sega dreamcast i'm going to show you some gameplay of default settings so first of all i'm going to just make sure the video settings and everything else is to auto or default settings and i'm going to just open up bloody roar 4 we're going to start off with this one So as we can see by the default settings there, there's lots of jagged edges and the textures look very blurred. But I'm going to show you now how we're going to enable this to make this look so much better. And of course, using those custom texture packs that we just installed. So what I'm going to do is just go to view options again, advanced system options. And from here, I'm going to just go and enable those texture packs. So that's under visual rendering. And if we just scroll down and first enable those texture packs, which is right at the bottom, custer textures. And I'm going to put on yes pre-cache. And we're going to also apply some settings to really bring this to life. So if we just go up just a touch, we're going to come across trilinear filtering. And just let me make you aware that if you want to advance these games to look, if you want to really make them look amazing, just make sure that you've got modest hardware in your computer setup. Otherwise, things are going to lag. So for that reason, check out the PCSX2 website and just be sure your hardware is fit for purpose for doing this type of thing. So anyways, under trilinear filtering, I'm going to just go to trilinear PS2. And under texture filtering, I'm going to go to nearest. By linear filtering, I'm going to go to yes sharp. Anti-aliasing, I'm going to go to yes. And let's back out of here. And if we just scroll up, now internal resolution, this is really going to make a strain on your hardware. So like I was just saying, before messing around with internal resolution, just be sure your computer can handle it. Otherwise, you're going to get very choppy gameplay. So from here, I'm going to just put this on to times four. I'm also going to go up to game aspect ratio, and I'm going to go to 16 by 9. Vertical sync, we seen some screen tear a minute ago, so I'm going to go to yes for this one. And if we go up to decorations, I'm going to just make sure this one's on none. So let's open up Bloody Roar 4 again with that texture pack in video settings now applied. So as we can see, Bloody Roar 4 looks fantastic. Some of it, to me, oddly enough, it really strikes out in that game. 
is the background. If we looked at the cylinders in the background, the scenery, even the cylinders are really defined. So this texture pack works just flawlessly. So let's move on to our next scheme here. So what I'm going to do is just put all my settings back to default. So let's try out Burnout Revenge. So as we can see again, very blurry and a lot of jagged edges. Let's check this one out with the custom texture pack. So let's just configure the video settings once again. And of course, to apply the texture pack, we're going to go to visual rendering, custom textures to yes, pre-cache. I don't think there's any deny whatsoever in Burnout Revenge. That lap looks absolutely fantastic. So let's try out the best game of the bunch. And this is going down to Castlevania. So again, let's just take away those settings. Okay, as you can see, just like the other games, very blurry, no real definition in textures. So let's check this one out.
And there we go. As we can see, Castlevania, the textures from the carpet on the floor to the walls and pictures just looks absolutely phenomenal. So that's it from my HD Texture Packs PlayStation 2 and RetroBat setup guide today. Just be sure to check out my Sega Dreamcast HD Texture Packs. That was also really amazing in terms of results. If you're new to my channel and you like this video today, just hit notifications and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming content on retro emulation. Also be sure to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.